Thank you all for coming here today. Less than two months ago, we launched our campaign for mayor with a promise to propose an agenda that will move Quincy forward toward an environment where head of household jobs will flourish, where our city services are second to none, and where we plan for the future to make life better for our next generation. Today, I want to talk about city services and how we can improve them. The Moore administration will seek to create a performance-driven city of Quincy, a government that strives for the best customer service at the lowest cost for residents. The Moore administration will have a hands-on approach to improving operations in every department. I am looking forward to working every day side-by-side -side with employees of the city to make our services the best they can be. How will we accomplish this? A performance-driven City of Quincy will rely on three principles. Our first principle, a commitment to listen. City government exists because of taxpayers. They are our customers and we work for them. Residents should expect us to be willing to hear from them on how we can improve our services. To accomplish this, I will host two town halls a year, giving residents the opportunity to tell us how we can better serve their needs. Business owners, developers, and contractors should expect hassle-free service from our planning department and our engineering department. As mayor, once a quarter, I will host a contractor's hour inside city council chambers. We will have representatives from our planning and review committee available to maintain an open dialogue with our business owners and contractors on plans they have in development and ensure their needs are being met in a timely manner. And we will do this at a time that will allow our contractors to be able to report to their job site on time. The second principle in a performance driven city of Quincy, an equal expectation of service. When residents need something done for them, they should have the right to know their work order has been processed and know a reasonable amount of time it will take for their work to be completed. Currently, we do not track how long it takes us to do basic tasks, such as filling a pothole, cutting down a tree, or fixing a sidewalk. As mayor, I will work with our IT department and department heads to develop a tracking system for work orders and indicators that will help us improve our performance. Once we are able to track work orders and response times, residents will know when they should expect their request to be done and know they are receiving equal and fair service compared to their neighbors. Our third principle in a performance driven city of Quincy. All progress will be measured and reported. Every year in every department, we will ask the fundamental question, are we doing a better job this year for Quincy than we did last year? Today, I am proposing a city-wide measurement tool called the Quincy Scorecard. We will use data we collect internally for city services, along with data provided by outside sources to give Quincy a tool to judge our performance. The data that will be collected will be reported on easy to follow graphs, will be unbiased, and it will be the same data that I get as mayor. When the Quincy scorecard is implemented, we will not only be able to look at our operations and be able to tell if we are doing a better job than the year before, but we will be able to look at opportunities for efficiencies in every department and be able to compare best practices with other cities. Cities across America are implementing performance-based measures to evaluate and improve the job they do for their citizens. In 2001, Mayor Rick Baker of St. Petersburg, Florida, wanted to know how long it took their city to fix a sidewalk. He found it took an average of 30 months for a, for a sidewalk work order to be completed. Mayor Rick Baker implemented a citywide scorecard and measuring tools that are still in use today. In 2012, their response time for sidewalks is now down to three months. In 1999, Boston Mayor Martin O'Malley implemented a program called CityStat to track their long-term problem with absenteeism. With the data collected by the program, 
the city of Boston was able to save $6 million in overtime pay during the first year it was implemented. The program was ex ex expanded and now is in use by every department in their city. I know with commitment from leadership at the top, working alongside employees at every level in our city, Quincy can become a performance driven city. When faced with the question, are you doing a better job for Quincy this year <clears throat> than last? We will answer yes. Thank you all for coming here.